lesson, which is uh, the continuation of this lesson continues. Rahahe. We'll see some more examples here. Uh, first, we'll write objects. Here we write first the verb play. Then uh, wash. Then uh, cut. So here, the object I'll write, I'll make first the sentence. Man. Man. Dash dash. Raha. So first, I'll uh, replace the verbs. I'll replace the verbs. Then I'll replace the nouns. Man dash dash raha. Hmm. Uh, here it's for the object as well as for verb. So man cricket man cricket kail raha hum. So I will write here I am I am dash 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 playing cricket. So I am playing cricket. So I will replace this uh, object here. Instead of cricket, I will write here tense. I will write here tense. May tense kill raha hum. I am playing. I will replace here. In a stop cricket, I will write here tense. Then uh, I will replace here. So I am playing tense. May tense kill raha hum. In a stop tense, I will write here wali. Volleyball. May volleyball kill raha hum. I am playing. I will replace here. I will write here. Volleyball. I am playing volleyball. And then I will replace here, and instead of volleyball, I will write here uh, football. Football. Then I am playing, I am playing football. So you understand, after pronoun, we use here object in case of Urdu. When we have to translate from Urdu, we first bring pronoun, then helping verb, then verb, and at the last, at the end of this, we just use object. So we'll produce here the vertical relationship. First, you are just replacing objects, and you'll produce more sentences, more translations. So you'll just keep the same structure. May tennis kill raha hum, may cricket kill raha hum, may volleyball kill raha hum, May football kill raha hum. You translate, I'm playing cricket, I'm playing volleyball, I'm playing tennis, and I'm playing uh, basketball. Same in the way you just now. We'll do one thing, we'll keep this structure same, and we'll replace now pronouns. Instead of this man, I will write here. Hai, raha hai, and I will replace here pronoun. First, I will say he, wo. Wo cricket khel raha hai. He is playing cricket. He is playing cricket in translation. In a of wo, I will replace wo with wo as feminine. Wo cricket khel rahi hai. Wo cricket khel rahi hai. So I will translate it. She is playing cricket. Then I will replace this Rashid. Rashid cricket khel raha hai. Rashid is playing cricket. In the same way, you just replace Rashid with Hamid. Hamid is playing cricket. Hamid cricket khel raha hai. Then after uh, Hamid, you just say ek ladka. 
एक लड़का क्रिकेट खेल रहा है अ बॉय इज प्लेइंग क्रिकेट सो दिस वे यू रिप्लेस नाउ प्रोनाउंस इन प्रैक्टिस नाउ यू विल कीप द सेम स्ट्रक्चर विल रिप्लेस द वर्ब्स नाउ वो क्रिकेट खेल रहा है ही इज प्लेइंग क्रिकेट वो वहां जा रहा है ही इज गोइंग देर वो कपड़े साफ कर रहा है ही इज वॉशिंग क्लोथ्स वो गाना गा रहा है ही इज सिंगिंग अ सॉन्ग ही इज सिंगिंग अ सॉन्ग वो पहाड़ पे चढ़ रहा है ही इज क्लाइंबिंग अ माउंटेन ही इज क्लाइंबिंग अ mountain so you replace verbs when you have to replace verb in case of urdu or english you have to replace object as well because a verbs take objects in the same way they mean it or they mean it or we write it for so you will just replace it so same way we will see in our next lecture some more sentences and a new lesson based on different pattern So see you in our next lecture till then bye bye